Dev Sarney here for Queensbury Promotions and I am joined by unbeaten super lightweight and returner. How are you doing? All good, thank you very much. Good. So you had your debut just before Christmas. Remember we spoke maybe three weeks before that. How do you feel that it went? I feel like it couldn't have gone any better really. I had so much support there when I come out. It was unbelievable. Everyone like, ch- chanting my name. Yeah. Oh, the support was, un- was unreal really. Al Smith said that it's the best debut he's ever seen. That's some praise. Yeah, it's two people said that. Jimmy Tibbs and Al, Al said that's the best debut they've seen in over 20 years. So for them to say that, I'm doing something right, ain't I? <laughs> I mean, when you look back on it, because I've spoken to other boxers who have made their debut and sometimes they can't remember. Sometimes it's just a bit of a blur. Can you remember everything? Yeah, I can, I can yeah, because I, I tried to take my time and took everything in. And just I enjoyed, went out there and enjoyed it. I didn't go out there to stop him. I went out there and enjoyed my boxing and do what I had to do. And he was goading you at times as well, this, this chowdhury fella that you were fighting. He was really going for it. Did that kind of put you off a little bit? What, what, what was going through your head when you've got this guy in front of you, your professional debut, he's trying to mug you off in front of all your mates? What was going through your head? Obviously, as, a, as an amateur, it's happened before. I used to do a lot of showboating, so... It's just, it's part of the game. I knew, I knew what I was doing. I knew he, he wasn't going to get in my head. I just took my time. And then he stuck his chin out, stuck his tongue out, and ended up falling on my right hook, didn't he? <laughs> That's a good way to shut him up. Um, just going back. So I remember you telling me that, like, your dad's called Henry. Granddad's probably called Henry. You've got a future brother-in-law called Henry. So I've got to ask you, Christmas dinner, how many Henrys were sat around the table? <laughs> There's only four of us this year, so there weren't that many, but... Just the four? Yeah, just the four, <laughs> not the other four, yeah. Um, and just on that, one of your gym mates, Dennis McCann, he's recently got engaged. don't know if you heard about that. So are you are you on the lookout for like a Henrietta? I, I've got a girlfriend, but I don't think we're getting any engaged yet, not anytime soon anyway. But yeah, I was shocked when I see it on Instagram, on Instagram, Dennis is engaged. Oh, bloody hell, <laughs> that come out of the blue. <laughs> is your girlfriend called Henrietta? No, she's called Atlanta. <laughs> Just normal, normal. So tell me then, one of the guys in your gym, Johnny Garton, who you spar with all the time, he's been linked with a fight with Conor Ben, who I understand you've also sparred with. How do you see that fight going? They're both very strong fellas. I think it's going to be a very good matchup and it's going to be a very good fight. I think it's going to be very explosive. They under, they're underestimate John. John is very strong and John is clever. So I think, I think John, I think personally, I think John. I think John's up. He's, he's been around the game a lot longer than Ben. He's strong, very strong. Who knows what can happen. Any New Year's resolutions? You've had that fight, December 21st. Great first win. Rave reviews. What are your New Year's resolutions, if you've got any? 2020, I'm just going to go on and be better. I'm going to perform even better in the next fight, hopefully. I'm going to go all the way. Go all the way. So what does that mean? At the end of this year, where do you want to be? Still unbeaten. Make sure I'm still unbeaten at the end of the year. That's my resolution, really. Is the plan to go unbeaten your whole career, Henry? I'm going to try to. I'm going to try my very hardest to go unbeaten. Well, you've had a cracking start, and uh, we look forward to seeing you when you're out next. Any f- closing words? No, I'd just like to thank everyone for the support, and thank all my sponsors that support me through camp and keep me going. Thank you very much.